tip menus on your OnlyFans account. Should you have one? All right, so I'm gonna go over the for and against arguments of using a tip menu on your OnlyFans account. All right, girls, this is money for you. Here's why I see girls would like to have a tip menu. Because, remember, I'm saying this from their perspective, looks professional, it has prices, subs know what to purchase when they go on the account, and all the others do it. But in reality, here's what you're doing. When you have a tip menu on your OnlyFans account, as soon as a subscriber subscribes and sees it, the first thing they feel is like they're in a marketplace. They go to your OnlyFans account and they just feel like they're in a shopping mall, in a store, on eBay. Whereas, a matter of fact, a lot of them are coming from places like Reddit, from dating apps, and they're only going on the OnlyFans accounts because they think they can get to know this girl. It's kind of like the girl next door thing. They feel like they can get to know this girl a bit better if they go on the OnlyFans accounts. Some of them might even want a romantic interest, but none of them want to be greeted with a tip menu. So there's that. So with using that, you could also increase your chances of getting reported if you're using dating apps or Reddit or TikTok to generate traffic because they've got the OnlyFans account, see a tip menu, what? Oh, fuck you, and then report the account. But anyway, here's what else you're doing as well. You're actually locking yourself into those prices. What happens is when you have a lot of subscribers on your OnlyFans accounts, you'll notice they have different financial means. What do I mean by that? I mean, some are broke, some are rich, they all have different amounts of money to spend. They all have different disposable incomes. When you lock yourself into these prices by using a tip menu, you can't, for example, charge $15 for a photo to one subscriber and then charge $50 for the same photo to another subscriber because if you get to charge the rich subscriber 50 bucks for your photo and he says, but I saw on your tip menu, it was only $15, first of all, I notice all the girls that use tip menus, they don't even use prices like $15, even though $15 is like on the much, much lower end of the prices that my models or I use. $15 is like, I'm just using that as an example for a YouTube channel, but don't do that. Have respect for yourselves, my God. But yeah, that's what tip menus do. They lock yourself into these prices and it makes the subscriber feel like they're at a marketplace. So anyway, I just want to give you a quick ear beating about why you shouldn't use a tip menu for your OnlyFans account. I know you want to feel professional and you want it to feel like a store where you're selling content, but no, while it might be that, yes, you cannot market it as that because as soon as the subscriber feels like they're being sold to or they feel like they're walking in the store, that's when they don't purchase. Even though if, let's be honest, it essentially is e-commerce, you're selling content and you're marketing and you're generating traffic, same kind of thing. Even if it works the same, don't market it as that. Otherwise, you'll lose your subs and you will lose the ability to sell for premium pricing. And that's my spiel. So I suggest you run with that. Girls, if you're watching it, please, Get rid of the tip menu, get rid of the low prices, have some respect for yourselves. And if you like the video, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.